Today is day one of us being vegetarian. So for breakfast this morning, I am making Larry some potato, egg, and cheese breakfast tacos. Alrighty, and this is his breakfast. Okie dokie, it is the day after Thanksgiving. So now I am going to be decorating for Christmas. Larry has been long awaiting this day. So I went ahead and I rearranged the furniture and I'm about to set up the tree. I ran a couple of errands and I picked up a couple of items to put on our tree. We have our star, tinsel, and candy cane. These are all of the Christmas decorations I got while running errands today. I got some light up houses, three gnomes, some cute little shops, and two Christmas tree pillows. This is the Christmas tree. I have to do a couple more fluffs, but that's the decorations. We have our Christmas decorations up. You can see my new lamp in the background. So we have our gnome family, our Merry Christmas on the mantle, the snowman family, Christmas countdown, our Christmas town, and our Christmas tree pillows. I want to take you guys along my journey to how I got to where I met as a pastor. The first stop that we're going to stop at is Louisville Baptist Church. This is where it all started. So we headed down the back roads, and I'm gonna show you guys footage of that. This is where it all started, Louisville Baptist Church. I grew up at the church that you see behind me my whole life, and this is where it all started. This is where my journey started to becoming a pastor. At 16 years old, I used to have Bible studies at my parents' house and all the kids from the high school would come to that Bible study. And I remember writing it down. Over 100 people, over 100 teenagers gave their life to Christ during that time. It's something that I'm very proud of. So what we would do is that my parents would help me pick up those kids in the church van on Sundays and bring them to this church. At this church, I played the drums. I uh, taught Sunday school. I took a ball friend. I sang in the choir. I did whatever my grandfather needed me to do, who was a pastor of this church for almost 40 years. This is where the journey started, Louisville Baptist Church. And as I turned 18 years old, I branched out and I went to start my own church. And I'm gonna show you all that next. So this is Rock Island Baptist Church. We're about to pull in. So after I left Louisville Baptist Church, God was calling me to become a pastor. But the issue was I didn't have any money. I didn't have any members. And so I looked, I looked and looked. Keep in mind, guys, I was a college student and working a part time job, still living at home. So this church behind me right now had a pastor by the name of Pastor Jones, and it was an older church. So they will only have church the first and second Sunday of every month. And so I went to him and I asked him, I said, Pastor Jones, I don't have any money, but do you mind if we have church here the third and fourth Sunday of every month? And he was gracious enough to let us do it. And that's where my pastoring journey began. I was 19 years old and I started here and we did church two Sundays a month. At that time, we may have had three or four members, but this is where we started. Very humble beginnings. And from this point, we moved on to something different, which I'm getting ready to show you. So after I left Rock Island, I moved to this building that you see behind me. But the thing was, I wasn't in this whole building. I was just in one of the rooms in this building. And a lady charged me a thousand dollars a month in order to be in a small room. I'm trying to get to the door so you guys can see it. But it, it may fit 15 people. 
comfortably, but if you look behind me, that's the door that I actually put on there. And I remember that door because I had to flip the door or I had to turn it around in order to meet city regulations. So this building that I was in or the room that I was in is actually a part of a wash interior. So this is where we moved at for about three years. And I think I was, that was from about 19 years old to 22 years old. And this is where we are currently at. This is our current building and I'm so proud. Our parking lot right here. Speaking of which, that land over there, as you can see, is where we would do our farmer's market the first Saturday in January. So we're really, really looking forward to that. So this building I have been in since I have been 22 years old. As of the recording of this video, I am now 32. And so we have been in this building for over 10 years. The reason I have so much excitement about this building is because all of the other buildings that I've shown you guys were buildings that we had to rent. We was paying a thousand dollars a month when we was in the room by the wash interior. We was paying a couple hundred dollars a month when we were at Rock Island Baptist Church. But here, every payment that we have made has gone towards owning the actual building and so i'm proud to say that next december we will own this building outright that's a big deal for a plethora of reasons just knowing that the church that we own this asset is a beautiful thing we can help more people we don't have the pressure of that monthly note and i'm just excited about it because the building has appreciated so much i just want to take you guys through my journey and show you guys how i got to where i am now the church will be paid off next year and i will be 33 years old and i don't know what the future holds man i don't know if we're going to stay here i don't know if we're going to move to another building and then rent this one out or sell this one i don't know yet i'm still praying about that but I just wanted to show you guys the journey. We're at home now, and we still on this vegetarian kick, and it's been tough. I've been craving meat all day long. Look at Ashlyn back there. She's back there, and she has the, what's that, Caesar salad, Ashlyn? Sarah. So tell the people what we having for dinner tonight. A cheese pizza mm. and Caesar salad. No meat? So we working on it, we working on it, but today has been a successful day. And let me show you guys the tree in the background. It, it's still lit up back there, it's still lit up. And so we're getting ready to eat dinner. And before we close the video, we'll show you a video of the dinner that we're gonna call it a night. I am about to put together our pizza. We have our dough, mozzarella cheese, pesto, and garlic spread. All right, the pizza is assembled. I just put some pepper on it. The next stop is the oven. This is dinner. We have our Caesar salads and the pizza. We are going to enjoy our Christmas decorations while watching a movie.